what is up guys welcome to a new python tutorial series and in this video i'm going to teach you how you can create your currency converter application and creating this currency converter application in tkinder it's really easy so first let's open ideally or whatever you are typing it can be notepad plus plus i'm using sublime so i'm going to save it as currr.py i already have a currency.py that is another application so let's start with importing the modules from Tikkun to import everything. Then let's define our main window that is root equals tk. So I'm not going to explain everything that is already uh, code. I mean, let's say our default code, something like, you know, that for the label entry and all. But I'm going to discuss some of these certain topics over there as well. So let's say the geometry. Okay, we got geometry and we want it to be 400 times 400 plus, let's say 250 plus 250. I don't know where it's going to end up being at, but let's just set it that. Again, do dot title. Let's set it title to, let's set our title to currency converter. So let's give our app a heading. So heading is going to be a label that goes inside the root and text is going to be uh, welcome to currency converter welcome to currency converter sorry the spelling error okay welcome to currency converter and we're gonna give it a font attribute sorry that's capital font and it's going to be area and let's give it 13 bold and our foreground color is going to be still blue dot pack let's pack it in not place just pack so now we will need another label stating the stating something like enter amount in dollars or something like that i'm going to work on only two currencies over here one is dollars and my country's currency that is nepalese rupees so let's say entramt equals to it's going to be a label as well l capital so it goes inside root with text equal to enter amount let's just give it a dollar just to show you how it actually works and of course the font is going to be Arial 20 bold and we are going to place it in x equals to 10 coordinate and y equals to around 50 so now we will need an entry box an entry box where the user will input the number the amount and which will get processed into the new amount that gets converted so for that we will need entry let's say entbox entry box something like that entry is goes inside root and let's give width of like 50 and it goes text variable okay text variable let's give it my number number mom oh my goodness okay my number let's place it in x equals to 10 and y equals to 19 so we, we must uh, sorry define we must define the text variable that is my num is it's going to be a int var int is a variable so it will only accept integers not strings and all so <coughs> let's create a function that converts so define converter let's say here just random stuff my num dot get this is the get method to get the input from the entry box let's say final equals year times 103.2 so I, I really don't know what it what the value is right now but I guess it's around like 103.2 rupees one dollar equals to so find out yours where which you want to convert so it will create a label 
um, inside the root text is going to be plus string of final it should be string font equals Arial 25 bold. Its program color is going to be red and let's place it in x equals to 10, y equals to 200. So let's create another function that reverses. I mean, it converts Nepalese rupees to dollars. So the code is going to be. Another function with reverse REVRC and let's just copy this over here. We will modify it later. So here equals to mine on and over here divide label instead of repeat it to be dollars string final. Let's give it a green color and let's place it in x equals to Sorry, it should be around 180 and 130. Somewhere around 130. Uh, 240. No, it should be 10. Yeah. So we will need the button. Button 1 equals to button that button. We do root. Text equals to convert. And width equals to 15 height equals to 2 background color is going to be light green command is going to be converter and color equals to 130 btm2 equals to button let's just copy it Give it the command reverse and let's end the loop root dot main loop so that's it so let's check our program curr and here it is it says welcome to currency converter into the amount in dollar i mean where is sorry where is our sorry that was not it and this is the R null button x equals to around 180 so let's check the program over here okay as you can see it says the heading welcome to currency converter enter amount in dollar and here's our entry that has an integer whose initial value is set to zero and here is convert and reverse so let's enter the amount in dollar let's say I want to convert thirteen dollars to Nepali rupees which is rupees 130 I mean 1341.60 so let's try for other like let's say sixty dollar it's 6192.0 and for the reverse it's 0 0.581395 blah 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 so 6,000, yeah, it's, it's like that. So thanks for watching, guys. You can modify your own application and make a create and create a converter for many currencies, not only for particular two currencies. And you can also use the check boxes for the currency converter. That would be really awesome. So that's your imagination, guys. That was the basic idea, like how you can create the currency converter. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.